What's up guys? So welcome to another video tutorial in Java. So it's 12.33. Why not make a tutorial video? <laughs> so in this tutorial guys, pag-usapan natin yan ang if-else in Java. So ano nga bang if-else in Java? So um, if-else guys are basically useful in making decisions and conditions about conditions. For example, um, ako bilang user, um, gusto kong mag-enter ng number 10 or ganyan. So, for example, 10. May, kunwari, may laro na dapat i-enter mo na is number 10. Ganon. So, syempre, you will write a program na kung mag i check kung what if kung in-enter ng user is 4. So, hindi naman siya 10. So, yun. Kung baga, mag-display tayo ng ah, hindi naman 10 yung in-enter mo. So, how do you do that in ano? So, as I've said, if you have knowledge in other programming languages, so, alam niyo na yan, alam niyo na to. So, sa mga beginners naman to. So, for example, ganito. Actually, ito yung mga op uh, operators na gagamitin natin. This is actually the less than, the, ay, tama, less than to, the greater than, the equal, equal. So, equal, equal just means na tinecheck kung equal ba siya. Then, the not equal. Ito yung not equal. So, tinecheck kung not equal ba siya. So, ano. So, in this tutorial, gamitin natin yung previous natin na pinag-aralan is the scanner. So, sa mga hindi pa ito nakakalam, in case you, you just panonin nyo lang yung video ko before this. So, yun. Scan, so equal to new, scanner, system, that's it. So, alam nyo na to. Then, again, control shift i Mag-import lang yung ano. So, in-explain ko to doon. So, yun. So, for example, we have integer, wag na, diretsyo na lang natin. So, we have integer um, number is equal to scan. Actually, pwede naman to, that next int, cause is an integer. So, for example, um, ako, for example, una, una natin na gamitin is itong less than. So, yan, less than. So, Dapat, mag-enter tayo, for example, a game. For example, mag-enter tayo ng number na dapat less than siya sa, for example, sa 10. So, para enter ng greater than 10, meaning, mag-message star ng error, ganon. So, if, ganyan, gagawin mo if, then open and close in parenthesis, ganyan, then, ganyan. Open and close in curly braces. So, actually, pwede na naman gawin ganito. Ganyan. Then, yun. So, yun. Yun. Actually, ganito kasi sanay lang akong ganito. So, explain ko muna to. So, ano nga ba to? If. So, basically, guys, um, inside the parenthesis is where you put your condition. Okay? Tandaan nyo. Where you put your condition. So, pag, uh, isipin nyo lang is, for example, meron tayo na condition. So, once na nag-true ang condition na to, for example, meron tayo na condition is, gagawin niya anything that is inside the code, I mean, anything that is inside the open and closing curly braces, curly braces ba tawag dito? So, once na nag-true ang condition dito, gagawin niya anything na ilagay niya dyan na code. Gagawin at gagawin niya yan. Basta nag-true yun. So, then else else, again, pwede nyo gawin ganyan, pwede nyo gawin ganito. So, sana lang kasi akong ganyan. So, one, else, ang else naman is, um, once nag-false to, kumbaga, dito siya pupunta. So, kumbaga, pag no choice na, for example, eto, for example, may condition dyan, may condition tayo dyan. So, once nag-false, hindi niya to gagawin, kasi, as I've said, once nag-true lang to, sa kanya to gagawin, anything, that is inside that. So, once na nag-false yung condition, then pupunta siya sa next niya. Which is dito, in case, else. So, else. So, ganun guys. So, let's apply, let's put some conditions there. So, paano ba, paano ba maglagay ng condition? So, nag-scan tayo ng number. So, i-check lang natin if number if number is less than 10 so, yun. Tinecheck natin kung number is less than 10. So, meaning, magpiprint tayo ng tama. 
kumbaga, type chain, ang objective natin is mag-print lang na number less than 10. So, correct. Let's just print correct. Then, else, pag hindi siya nag-enter ng, for example, nag-enter siya ng 100, then, siyempre, magko-false ang condition na to. So, mag, ano tayo na? System.out.print print lin wrong. Yan yun. So, ganun guys. So, ganun naman, ganun lang naman basically. Basically, it means na, for example, panag, ganito run natin. So, basically, it means na, oh, wala tayong label. <laughs> wala tayong label. So, system.out.println enter number. Wala tayong ganyan. So, basically, it means na, ganito na. So, enter number. So, para enter tayo ng 5, then the value of our number will be 5. So, is if 5 is less than 10. So, is 5 less than 10? So, ano ba yan? True or false? 5 is less than 10? True. Kasi, tama. Mas konti ang 5 kaysa sa 10. So, the condition here, here will be true. So, pupunta siya dito. I-execute niya yung code na to. And, basically, as I've said, anything that is inside the open and closing curly braces dito is i-execute niya. So, for now, our code is only mag-print ng correct. Else, pag nag-false siya, pag nag-false, eto, pupunta siya dito sa else. So, once enter natin, correct. 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 <laughs> Mali lang yung spelling. So, correct. So, for example, ulitin natin. So, enter tayo ng, for example, 900. So, is 900 less than 10? It's false. Kasi mas malaki ang 900 kesa sa 10. So, pag in-enter natin yan, wrong. Pumunta siya dito sa wrong. So, ganun lang naman guys. Ganun lang naman kasimple. So, actually, pareho lang naman yan for other, ano, greater than. So, um, for greater than. So, enter number. So, for example, um, 2. So, is 2 greater than 10? So, 2 is greater than 10. Dapat dito. Lagay dito is, ano. For example, um, true. Ilagay na lang natin dito so yung, ano, eh, false. So, ganyan. So, is 2 true? I mean, is true. Is 2 greater than 10? Then, pa nag-true siya, then pupunta siya dito, pa nag-false, dito lang siya. Print lang natin yung true or false. So, is 2 greater than 10? Ano ba guys? False. Diba? So, wrong. Hindi siya na-save. Hindi na-save. So, wait natin. Then, false. Diba? Pumunta siya dito kasi 2 is not greater than 10 actually. So, ulitin natin. So, enter tayo 77. 77 greater than 10? If 77 is greater than 10? Tama ba? Yes. It's true. Bakit ko binano? So, it's true. So, ganun na naman guys. Ang pareho rin pag ano. So, in equal equal. Equal equal. Sinecheck nyo lang kung for example, um, ganito. Sinecheck lang naman, lang naman niya yung in-enter natin na number kung equal ba siya sa dito. Kung ano man ilagay mo dyan. Actually, um, sa mga, for your information, you can actually put variable here. For example, um, num, ganyan. Then you put here integer num is equal to 10. Pwede yan, pwede yan. Actually, so gawin na nga natin yan. So, side side, ganun. So, ganun. Enter number, then equal equal, tinecheck na lang naman niya kung equal ba yung number sa num. So, which is our num is 10. So, Pag enter tayo ng 10, nag-true siya kasi number is equal to 10. Kasi ang num natin is 10. So, pag rin ulit natin, enter tayo ng 8, false. Kasi number is equal to 8, equal ba siya sa 10? False. So, pupunta siya dito sa else. Hindi niya execute to. So, ganun lang naman guys. Sa not equal, kabalitaran lang ng ano, sa not equal actually, um, tinecheck lang naman niya kung not equal ba itong number 
itong in-enter natin ng number dito sa num, so which is 10. So, pag rinan natin, so, pag rinan natin, for example, um, 10. So, is number not equal to 10? False. False siya, false siya guys, kasi equal siya. So, basically, sinasabi lang naman dito is, sinecheck niya, kung baga sinasabi mo na, number is not equal to 10. So, sinasabi mo is, 10 is not equal to 10. It's actually false, kasi 10 is equal to 10. So, kung try natin 33, mag true siya, kasi 33 is not equal to 10. <laughs> So, ganun lang naman guys, ganun lang naman kasimple siya. So, ito lang yung, ano natin, yung if-else natin. So, di pa dyan nagtatapos. So, meron pa kong isang gustong ituro, ituro da, eto. So, tingnan nyo guys, eto. Uh, for example, in, pwede, pwede nyo pa kasi yan, i ganito. Uh, for example, if number, alisin na natin, natin to at least alam niya na. So, if number is greater than 10, print, lagyan niya natin, system.out.println, number is greater than 10. Ganyan. So, else, if, actually, pwede niya yung ganyan, maglagay kayo ng pangalawang condition. So, if number is less than 10, Oops, walang ganyan. So, nilagay ko lang. So, copy ko na lang to. Number is less than 10. Then, else if, pwede ulit yan. Hanggang, hanggang ilan, kahit ilan pang gusto nyo yan, naglagay ka ng condition. So, I'll explain this later. So, pero sa, para sa akin, um, sa isang, sa isang tingin nyo pa lang, gusto na kung anong ibig sabihin nito. So, number is equal to 10, then, else, if, number is not equal, oh, wala na yan. So, ganito na lang, hanggang ganito na lang. So, ganyan. So, else, okay na yan dyan. At least, alam nyo kung anong ibig kong sabihin nito sa mga if, else, if, else, if. So, um, hello else. So, ganyan. So, ganyan. So, once we run this, we run natin. So, for example, mag-enter tayo ng 55. So, if you check niya, our number of, or the value of our number is actually 55. So, if you check niya, if number is greater than 10. So, is 55 greater than 10? It's true. So, gagawin niya inside this curly braces. So, kasi true. As I've said, basta nag-true to, gagawin niya to. Same dito. So, yun. Ganyan. Number is greater than 10. So, what if kung nag-false to? So, what if kung nag-false yan? For example, nag-enter tayo ng 6. So, is 6 greater than 10? False. So, pupunta sa dito sa else if, then, iti-check niya ulit dito sa condition na to. Then, is number, which is 6, less than 10. Is 6 less than 10? It's true. So, pupunta siya na, i-execute niya na, itong nasa loob ng curly braces na to. Then, ito yon For now, ito yung yung code. So, then, mag-stop na siya doon. Number is less than 10. So, ganun. So, yun. So, run ulit natin. So, paano ko nag-enter ako ng 10? So, i-check niya. If number, which is 10, greater than 10, is number, I mean, is 10 greater than 10, it's false. Kasi 10 is not greater than 10. <laughs> Isipin you guys, 10 is not greater than 10. So, pupunta naman siya dito sa baba. Then, i-check niya ulit. Else if number which is 10 is less than 10. So, is 10 less than 10? False. Hindi naman konti ang 10 sa 10. So, false siya. Then, punta naman siya sa else if. Then, is 10 equal equal to 10? It means na kung ang 10 ba, equal ba to 10? True. So, yun. 
Kagawin nyo to. So, ganun lang naman guys. Number is equal 10. So, ganun lang naman guys. Basically, kahit ilan, kahit ilan pa yan na ilagay nyo yung mga ELC, ELC, ELC pa yan, blah, 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 blah. So, once na pag rinan nyo yung program na, for example, nag-false to, pupunta siya dito. Basta ang flow niyan is, once nag-false to, pupunta siya dito, check niya ulit niya yung condition dito. Pag nag-false, dito naman siya sa else if. Pag nag-false, kung meron pa kayong else if, hanggang sa sunod-sunod yan, hanggang sa mimit niya yung true na condition, then i-execute niya na kung ano man ang nasa loob ng curly braces na yon Yung true condition na yon yung true na condition. So, and also, and also, don't forget, sa pinakadulo, lagay kayo ng else. Kasi, kumbaga, if, kumbaga, yun yung parang default, pag wala nang, walang na-meet, walang na-meet dito, lahat yan nag-false, then pupunta siya dito. Kumbaga, it's like, it's like a default na parang answer niyo. So, yun lang naman guys. So, for example, yun ito, mag-enter tayo na, Wala tayong, for example, ganyan. Uh, ganyan, error na yan guys, is what you call an exception. So, kasi hinihingi is integer, then nag-enter tayo ng character. So, advanced thing, it's, it's called an exception. So, in Java actually, meron yan na, so in advance ko na, in Java, meron yan na, merong code or a way na kung saan, etong red na to, is nawawala yan. So, yun. In the next tutorial, i-discuss ko yan, siyempre. So, yun lang, yun lang naman guys. So, yun lang naman po. So, don't forget yung, alam nyo lang yung flow nito. So, once nag-false to, pupunta siya sa else if. Once nag-false ulit to, kung sakali, pupunta siya sa else if. Once nag-false to, pupunta, siya, pupunta naman siya sa sunod na else if. Hanggang sa one, so hanggang sa ma-meet niya ang tamang condition or the true condition. Pero once what if ko nag-true to, then or nag-true to, then maghihinto na siya doon. Syempre, execute niya sa side yung nasa loob nito, then maghihinto na siya doon. Stop na siya doon. Print niya or gagawin niya yung gagawin niya yung code na ginawa niya doon. So, ganun lang naman guys. Thank you for watching this video tutorial. So, 17 minutes. So, thank you guys for watching this video tutorial. Thanks.